All right. <clears throat> Anyone is watching, you should share the video. I will be going, I am live, I know. And I have to share this now. If indeed. So sorry, I'm, I'm going to, it's going to be just a second. Um, just a second, sorry. This is a bit weird always, isn't it? Okay. Um, <clears throat> so sorry, this is taking a bit longer. Uh, I hope that I am actually, that you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, should be fine. Um, so let's just wait for perhaps a couple more people to count, whoever's watching, um, feel free to share the, um, to share the link so that more people will join. Um, I am going to go through a few things that are a bit technical, just the technical side of things because I had a couple of emails of people who wanted to know more about the course and how it works and what it looks like. So I will share my screen and I will talk about the course and I will keep coming back to it. Uh, if you ask a question, just um, type it in on YouTube and I'll try and respond. As I said before, share it if you like. I'll, so that more people join in. I'm still not very good with these things, how, how live streams work. I'm doing this over Zoom so I can show you my screen. And yeah, what I want to talk about is the course. So what you will see, I think, it should, I hope it's there. Uh, just below, you'll see that there's a link to the, the course on Teachable, on my online academy there. If you use the Heidegger 50 coupon, you get 50% off. For now, it's a limited quantity. There should be a couple left. And then we start the seminars. If you decide to join the group seminars, we'll start those in a bit more than a week from now in 10 days on the 28th of June, 2020. That's always from 6 to 8 p.m. London time. So make sure that this works with your time zone if you're in the US or somewhere in China or Australia. If that doesn't work, you can still sign up for just the course content. And I think I want to show you this now if I can. Um, if I can, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Um, I'm just completely incapable of, oh, there it is, share screen. That wasn't so bad. Um, so now you can kind of double see me. Now here's what I would like to show you first. If you click on the link, it'll take you to this course, the Heidegger on Death and Being course. Um, and once you click on and roll here, it should take you over here. Yes, you see, and this would be, um, so I'm in the United Kingdom, so there's VAT I, have to, I would have to pay. I will add a coupon, so this is where you add the coupon, and then you type in Heidegger 50, you copy paste it, you apply it, and then that's the price. I think in the US it's without VAT, 
Um, but that's, so if you click on enroll up here, then, then, then you sign up for the seminar. So make sure you would be available on the date of the seminar. Now, if you are only interested in the content and you scroll all the way down, uh, you see you get five video lectures, five audio files, five essays, you enroll in course for that. That's just the, so it's lifetime access to the course. Um, and all you have to do again is Heidegger 50, apply, and the price will go down. Again, if you're not in the UK, then you will not have to pay VAT. I think this is only for European countries. So this is how it works just in terms of enrollment. There's also a, uh, a bit of a, a higher um, tier which is this one where on top of the content and the group seminars, which run for four weeks, you get five tutorials with me one-on-one. -on -one. So that's possible too, if you really want to delve into Heidegger. Uh, again, you'll have lifetime access to this. Once you have signed in, as soon as you've enrolled in the course, which by the way, is based on this book published by Springer, which will be out in October, um, once you have enrolled, you get access to this website here. So this is the course. You can see that this is the introduction. Um, then this is the first full lecture on being and time, Dasein and death in the own most um, possibility. Um, and then the thinking of the event, which is Heidegger. Uh, this is where Heidegger really comes into his own and into his own uh, way of thinking, which is so the later Heidegger, all this stuff you know about technology and language, you can actually only understand this when you understand Heidegger's stuff on, on death and the event, which is you know, very esoteric, very difficult texts. And then we move on to technology and Gestell, death and Gestell, and to death and the poem of the world. So you see these lectures are very long, and these are the video lectures, but you can also just, if you click on it, then what opens up is the video, <laughs> see me. Uh, and here's the text, which you can download. You can leave a comment, so you can participate in the discussion. Whenever you leave a comment, I will actually try and respond if, um, if, if I've got something uh, helpful to say, I will, uh, of course. Uh, so even if you're a self-learner, just leave a comment, I get notified and I will respond. So again, this is what the course looks like this is what the enrollment page looks like. So when you're here, this is what you do. You type in uh, the coupon. Again, I'll show you, for example, for just the content, you enroll here. That's just the content. You do not have access to the group seminars. And then you type in this, you apply it, and then you get the 50%. Also, that's how you do it. I would be quick to be honest because these are limited and you have about i've got 10 people in the or 11 actually in the saturday group but the group that's still available is for sunday and we don't have that many spaces left um so it's probably a good time to sign up and yeah there's something else i i'll show you just in a bit when i'll come back again uh you can leave a question um, here. Um, you can leave a question on YouTube if you want. And I want to show you something else now, which is the following. I've been writing a paper on Heidegger actually the entire day. So I'm, I'm, uh, I've had, I'm writing a paper on Heidegger on, on memory. Um, so I want to, what I want to show you is for everyone who signs up for the group seminars, what will happen is that we will record, so we will meet over Zoom. And we will record, um, we will record uh, our seminars and I will upload those. So you will have access to them. They won't be public, but you will get access to them on the course. So you can listen to what was said again and um, also listen to what you said again. And again, that's lifetime access as well to those seminars. So that might be uh, quite helpful perhaps too. At least the other groups found it quite helpful. And actually, and on top of all the other seminars, what you will get, we'll do a public pro seminar where you can present a talk on Heidegger, 
which will then be published on my YouTube channel. But if you don't want to do it publicly, we'll keep yours off the record um, so you can still share it with your peers. And speaking of peers, what I'm trying to build is a, uh, an online academy for now, which means hopefully it will at some point be not just online, but also offline. What actually what I've done in, in, in London, around London, uh, is I've given talk, I gave talks the entire uh, year last year, um, which was, um, I called the Dead Philosophers Club just like the Dead Poets Society. And uh, I gave talks, I got heckled. Uh, sometimes people enjoyed it, sometimes they didn't. <laughs> I think some of them really liked it. And uh, maybe one of you is watching or right now, or some of them will be watching this again later. Again, anyone who's watching this right now, share the video so we get more uh, people to join in. Uh, and also perhaps uh, again, because um, this offer is ending. And um, yeah, so that was pretty good. I like the Dead Philosophers Club a lot, but now of course we all have to stay inside, but what I'll do in the summer is I'll, I'll hold one in the park. So I'll be, I'll be speaking in the, one of these beautiful parks here soon. But what I'm building is this, what you can see here, is the Helkion Thinkers Guild, which has its, its motto Aufbruch und Ewigkeit, which is German and means sort of like breaking open, but also departing and eternity. And what, this is very much inspired by Nietzsche, Nietzsche who said that which is really noble in the work or human being is the moment when their sea is smooth and they have found Helkion self-sufficiency. And this is the kind of um, light motif that we have for, well, that's the spirit of the, of the Helkion guild. It's a guild in the sense that the original universities were built or originated out of guilds of scholars uh, who then provided uh, teaching to students. And uh, so the Universita di Bologna, the first university on record was, came out of a medieval guild. And I'm trying to take this back to where it was to deinstitutionalize and then perhaps reinstitutionalize, but in such a way that education is free and not concerned with credentials, but learning for the sake of, and I'll say it with um, the German philosopher Schelling, who said, and this is also the motto of the Halkion Academy, which you can read here, here it is. All rules for study are summed up in this one, learn only in order to create. So that's the light motif of the Halkion Academy. And, uh, our seminars, the group seminars, are spaces for utium cum dignitate, idleness with dignity. That means it's disinterested in the sense that we there's no, as I say here, we worry not at all about meaningless credentials or pieces of paper. Instead, our focus is on the true formation education of human beings. May we flourish and fully become who we are. And this is what I very much like, like my seminars to be. Um, which are an, an open forum of discussion. There are breakout rooms actually in these uh, Zoom meetings so you can meet up with your peers. And what I've noticed with the with teaching online, so this is the, the third online course this year. The first one was Deleuze versus Heidegger with my colleague and friend, Justin Murphy, uh, who's, um, who uh, had the idea to do this online course. And we just sat down and wrote this course and it did, really quite well in terms of we had the most fun. I think we had more fun than we had in university teaching. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you can still enroll in that course if you're interested in that one, just, 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 the so just the content, not the, not the actual, um, seminars. Um, Islandness with Dignity was the last course. And I think every one of that course has signed up for the new one for the Heidegger one. So I will continue their group. Um, and I will also have a pro seminar with them on Saturday, which we will record. And this seminar will then be uploaded on YouTube so they can present their talk and their ideas on the subject. And the third one now is Heidegger on death and being. Again, it's based on, on this book here, Heidegger on death and being, 
which is published by Spring. I finished the book a couple of months ago, should be out in a couple of months too. Now, the, um, this is the third course. The seminar starts in a week from now, 10 days from now. And anyone who signs up for the seminars, so if you sign up for the seminars, I'll say it again, right here, uh, you click this button, seminar content and live seminars, you will get access to the forum on the Halkeon Guild website. So it looks like this, Idleness with Dignity, that was the last course. We have here the abstracts for the pro seminar. Um, so you've got really very interesting um, abstracts and here I will explore the relation between the will to will, which has arguably caused among other things, the current societal state of total work and leisure as an existential ontological stance that can reveal and dismantle the workings of the will to will. So this is by Daniel Taruba. So you see, you know, there's a very good one by Drew here who runs the Jiu-Jitsu Academy in Texas. Um, and Camilla, who's a, who's a doctor in, in South Africa, will speak about care and, and idleness. And yes, yeah, so th that's, that's where we shared the abstracts. Then um, they're sharing essays here too. So you will have access to this, to Heidegger on death. Um, yeah, actually, you will, access, you will have access to the entire forum, but this will be the class of 2020. You can stay in touch with your peers and share ideas. Here, you will get, you get access to the study guide, to the syllabus. And what I started just today is the library. So there's a library, which it's all fair use. Um, where we will upload a couple of texts that are helpful. Um, and the library can be filled by you too, if you like. Something else that the, the forum encourages us to do is you can see again, Otum Cum Dignitate as the motto, leisure with dignity, idleness with dignity, is that here in Philosophia, Lu, another student of the idleness and of the Heidegger Deleuze course, and actually now on the Heidegger and Death course as well, Lu started um, the Heidegger passages discussion. So he's giving some guidelines. And so I shared a, a poem Heidegger wrote in honor of, of Hannah Arendt. And Lou shared a, a message, a, a passage from um, Heidegger's works on Aristotle's metaphysics. And then Daniel actually translated uh, a text by Heidegger, which he couldn't find in English translation. So he put in the effort and translated a text. So that's growing too. That will be a good uh, resource, I think, not just for this course, but again, it, it, you sign up for this, the, the course plus seminars, you get lifetime access to this. The idea is that you have some sort of a, uh, an online community um, to learn and to share your thoughts. And I will be in and out of this too. So I'm present there to so anyone who signs up for this one here, content and live seminars gets lifetime access, not just to the course and to the recordings of the seminars, but also to the forum. And anyone who's already signed up and maybe is watching this right now or later on, I will be in touch early on sometime next week, just before we meet for the first group seminar with details on how you can sign up for the forum. So I haven't done this yet because um, I need to get the Idleness Pro Seminar done first this weekend, and then we'll get to the forum. And again, what I'm trying to build really is a is my own online academy, um, which is entirely free from bureaucratic nonsense. Uh, and I have there's no gatekeepers. I can teach whatever I please, and I can teach philosophy in the way that. I would like to see it taught. My idea is, of course, that I would get more people in over time who can teach with me. I'm in touch with a few people. Actually, Justin and I taught a course together. Um, I might have a, a course with a friend of mine called Philip on Hegel um, coming up sometime much later this year. Now, um, the, the, that's the, the vision. And anyone who signs up would be uh, supporting this for which I'm you know, rather uh, grateful that uh, it's, it's, it's actually going quite 
well, I wouldn't have thought that uh, that many people sign up and are interested, which I think is really quite uh, magnificent. And yes, so again, the, the course itself is based on this book, which is the first complete and concise study of the phenomenon of death in all of Heidegger's philosophy meaning that I haven't read all 100 volumes by Heidegger, but I've read a significant part of it and found that throughout his philosophical life, which begins sometime in the mid 1920s, all the way up to the late 60s, death is prominent in Heidegger. And I think that we can give an answer to the question of being, I think it's possible. And I think that what we have to do is we have to understand death. We have to understand death in Heidegger. And then we can approach this question of being, this massive question. And hence, I begin with the beginning, which is, and it is framed in a way, the course approaches the question from the problem or this phenomenon of transhumanism and posthumanism, which assumes that Life is a straight line, a finite straight line, and this finite straight line should, um, at best case, should be uh, extended. Uh, finitude is simply understood as something that comes to an end. Um, and uh, I would like to argue, I argue with Heidegger that if, if, we, if, we understood, if we understood death in such a way, then we would deprive ourselves of, to speak with the early Heidegger, of any access to world and to, um, to the horizon that is the world. So that's what the course is based on. I will stop sharing now for a minute. Um, if you have any questions, I'm going back to uh, YouTube now, um, just to see whether, you're, uh, whether you've asked uh, any questions, because I couldn't see this just now. Um, if you do, just, just type something in and I'll Oh yeah, uh, Bogdan asks, how long is the course? Sorry, I didn't see this before. Uh, the course is, uh, so it's five lectures and it will start, if you look down um, here on, on YouTube, you can see that the if you sign up for the group seminars, only then uh, we will meet on the 28th of June, on the 5th of July, on the 12th of July and on the 19th of July. Those are the group seminar dates, four dates plus the pro seminar, which will be a couple of weeks, three weeks, four weeks, depending after the course has finished, where you can present a talk. So this was Bogdan's question. Um, so it, it starts in 10 days from now. The group seminars run for a month. Um, in the meantime, you've got access to the forums, etc. as I said before. But also, I think um, just to point this out, uh, you have lifetime access to the course. So it, you can access this anytime the course material will stay live. You, you, you're a, an enrolled student to this course on, on Teachable, so you can access this anytime uh, you please. And as I said before, if you use the, um, if you use the coupon now Heidegger 50, as I showed it before, uh, then at the checkout, you get 50% for now. There's a, there's a couple more left, um, but probably good to, to, to act uh, now, because if, if the coupon runs out, I, there's no way to renew it. Um, and yeah, and the, so let me just perhaps say a bit more on, on what I think it, the course then does. It begins with being in time, with death as Dasein's own most possibility in the existential sense. It's very much uh, about my death and my mortality. But then the course moves on to something else, which is Heidegger's later thinking of the event or the ereignis, where death remains still very important. Death is. In fact, here now, um, the highest testimony to being itself. And that is to say, being for Heidegger is that which self conceals, that which hides itself. And this is what death allows us to think. In the 
technology uh, in the technology as, uh, lecture, what I'm trying to show is that there's a reason why transhumanism and posthumanism must fight against death because death is the utterly inaccessible. Death is that which does not allow for any kind of control and modern subjectivity, the modern human being wants to exercise control everywhere as best as the human being can in order to manipulate everything. And um, if you uh, consider that death is that which cannot be controlled, there is no access to it, then death is in that sense, the enemy of technology. And that's what I'm trying to work out. This is why Heidegger, I think, focuses so much on death because death provides weirdly enough by thinking it a certain exit from the um, overarching powers of death. Now, the other um, important um, uh, uh, topic then is language and death. Um, this is, I think, really a, a very, it's a poignant thing Heidegger says about language and the language is the house of being, um, language is our dwelling ground, not just a, a tool of communication. It's it's where we live, it's where we are, it's why we are humanists, because we are in this realm of language. And Heidegger says also that language and death are related. Insofar as I think, is if you think of death as concealment and the non-available, what language does, proper poetic language, is it does not try to control or manipulate the world. Poetic language tries to do something else perhaps, it tries to let beings be, as Heidegger sometimes says, it tries to let the world occur of its own accord without manipulating. And this is, importantly, um, the last lecture on, and because Heidegger sees an essential relation between language and death. So this is um, what the course will be uh, about in terms of its, uh, its content. And I would like to perhaps show again how it works. I have to go into Zoom again, if I can find it. Uh, and I will then show you again what it will be like. So if you sign up for the course, which is by this link down there, and you want to sign up for the group seminars, which start on the 28th of June, you click on, you're all the way here. You can click enroll here. And you add the coupon here, which is Heidegger 50. There's no VAT if you're in the US. And then it reduces it by this amount and then adds the VAT if you are in a country that needs to pay VAT. And then you just do everything else here, sign in. And um, once you've signed up, as soon as you have signed up, as soon as you have, have enrolled, you will access this site here, this page, the course curriculum, where you can listen to all the lectures in order and you, you can so here's the mp3 here's the text and here's the video and here you can leave a comment to join the discussion there's lifetime access to this so as soon as you've enrolled you get access to these five lectures um and yeah i will just show again everyone who signs up for the group seminars will also get access to the guild forum where we have for example the library with texts all in fair use that will be uh, addressed in um, in the course yeah and the 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 entire you know project is again it's based on this book why because Heidegger I think if you're looking for the answer to the question of being 
then you have to look for um, you have to you have to consider death profoundly. That's that's where it is, and so just to make this even clearer, perhaps than I than I have so far, there's lifetime access to the Halcyon forms, and this is my my website, my online academy with um, a yearbook, um, which means that we publish. We try to publish something every month. For example, here's my my essay. It's time to think, which, which was a response to Mark Anderson. It's time to build. I said, no, we have to think first. Here's something by David uh, Gosley, who uh, is a, a professor of psychology and is now researching poetic psychology. Here's something by Professor Max Gottschley, who's a Hegel scholar, a text on the liberation of nature. And we also have actually with Halkion our own small independent publishing house. Um, and the first book is published by Sean Burke. It's published through Amazon and print on demand, which is really great for indie uh, authors to get their books out. And the book's really a wonderful meditation. There's a, an excerpt of it on the yearbook site. And you will have access to uh, the, the form of the page for as long as you want. Uh, and also, here's, a, here's my music. So uh, we publish my music. I make music as John Vouloir. Um, Firewalk with me. It's not the latest record, actually. I've put a new one out, which is called Further On Up the Road. I should probably add this here, too, because it's on Spotify and everything else, too. So if you click on Forum and you sign in, um, which is open to anyone who's interested uh, in, in the group seminars, then you will get access to this forum. Um, and yeah, let me, I mean, if, if there's any questions, just let me know. I was just going to check again if there are any. Um, and anyone, by the way, who's, who's watching it at the moment, feel free to share the, um, the video so we get a few more people to join. And if you know anyone who might be interested, just share it with them also. And just to make this clear again, maybe I should have done this before. Maybe I'll just do it again, share the screen. Um, and here we are. If you are watching this now, if you click on here and you type in this coupon, that's how you get 50% off. And the group seminars are here, listed here. This is if you sign up for the course content plus seminars, this is when they will be. And there will be a fifth one in addition, which will be public. So um, this is which is where you can present your own talk. The seminars work like this. Uh, the seminars are a place for, so I'm there, I'm leading the seminars. We meet over Zoom. I run them. I am the uh, impresario, the, but I'm not lecturing. What I do is you have prepared the lecture, you've prepared by listening or by reading, and you join in. There will be guided study questions that I will uh, provide a week before we meet. You will consider these questions, you will have considered them, and I will very likely, very often, just give a 10, 15 minute introduction to the topic and what it's about. Then there's an open discussion, then a breakout room where you meet up with your peers, a couple of them, depending on the group size, usually two to three to four people. And we talk through the, I, th these, these questions and you get to develop your own, your own thoughts uh, and which then you can test later on uh, at the pro seminar. Uh, let me know, by the way, if you have any more questions and just type them into the chat. Uh, if there's anything I should answer uh, on, on, on the course, on either on the content or so one of the things that I was asked is, do you need to have any kind of uh, knowledge of Heidegger before? Uh, no, you don't. What you should have, though, is um, you should have a really an open mind and uh, and be interested in philosophy broadly, or perhaps in the question of death. This is a difficult course. That's clear. It's, it's not very uh, easy. 
it's an academic course on Heidegger. So you will get uh, not just some wishy-washy la la la, uh, but it is an appropriately uh, academic course as it should be taught at universities. And um, so uh, that this is the, uh, that, that's the, but, but that doesn't mean you have to have any knowledge of Heidegger. That just means you should come to it with uh, the openness that thinking always requires, which is without prejudice and without presuppositions. And then uh, you should be, or try to be without presuppositions, that's difficult in thinking, but th that's usually helpful uh, in, in accessing this. I mean, we, we've seen this with, with people who, who took the Heidegger Deleuze course. I think many of them, my suspicion is that many of them took the course because of Deleuze and also because they were followers of Justin Murphy. And Justin had written a book on Deleuze, a very good one based Deleuze. Um, and yeah, so I think they came because of Deleuze, but I think that really you can, what would really happen was uh, students pivoted towards Heidegger. And the, both of these lectures were very difficult. The Deleuze lectures were difficult, the Heidegger lectures were difficult. But it's just purely just preference. Um, but it, it, it ignited something uh, because Heidegger does have a few very crucial uh, things to say about, uh, about um, the, um, about the, uh, about technology. And yes, on the price, uh, the price is as it is. Um, and if you, it's actually dollars, not euros. So the price is, it's actually five lectures. And you get on top of it, if you use the coupon, it's $300 for lifetime access, plus, because someone's asking about the price, plus uh, the group seminars. So uh, it's, um, and plus uh, access to the forum. Now, um, if anyone has any, you know, genuine question on, on the content or, or the course, um, please let me uh, no, and I'll be happy to respond to those. In the meantime, I'll just say a bit more, um, perhaps again, what happened during the uh, Justin Deleuze course, uh, Justin Deleuze and, and Heidegger course, it was on technology, it was someone there who works in VR, who then uh, pivoted more towards Heidegger because she said, Heidegger's got all the important fundamental questions that we want to have answered. And that's, I'm, I agree. Uh, it, it's, it, it is in Heidegger where we return to these fundamental uh, questions, all right? And th this is why I think Heidegger is so appealing now. And on the, on the other note, there was someone who was, who was a, I think he was a, a a sound technician, some, something in, in, uh, in, in the music industry. And for him, it was always a bit difficult to work with that much technology, but he's sort of found his peace with technology because um, far from condemning technology, Heidegger is about something else entirely. I think this will become visible too in uh, the course. And yeah, let me just say again, if you sign up for the seminars, you'll get access to the forum. Um, I'll say it again. Um, by the way, something that came out of the last course, the Islanders course, is that people want to, um, people wanted to write essays. So they started. There's no formal requirement that you have to write an essay. But if you want to do it, it's up to you. You can, you will, I will read them. If you write them publicly, I will share them. And if you, uh, but you can use then the forum to share it with your peers from the seminars and get to access, uh, get, get perhaps some, some comments on it. I will not use the word feedback because that's from cybernetics, but you will get uh, comments, helpful guidelines. Um, we've also started, uh, Lou has started a, um, uh, one of the members of the forum has started a collection of Heidegger passages that are relevant uh, for us to, today. So, for example, one of them 
that he shared was on modern uh, academia. And so that would be in English translation, actually, Daniel, another uh, participant, shared his own translation of, of a text uh, by Heidegger. And yeah, so let me, um, let me know if there are any questions. Um, if you sign up now, you get the 50% if you use that coupon down there. The seminars will be recorded. I should have said this perhaps before. The seminars will be recorded. So that means you will get, you, I'll upload them, not publicly, but I'll upload them to Teachable and then you'll have access to uh, the seminars afterwards. Um, and you can listen to them again. It's, my, to my knowledge, the book on which the course is based is the first, at least, at least now, I mean, there's, there's a book from the 1970s actually by James Dembski, who wrote a study on Heidegger. It's a very, it's a good book, it's a very good book. It's good because but the trouble is that he doesn't understand the later Heidegger. So what he does, what Dembski does, is he always recurs to being in time when he looks at the later philosophy. Even though when you look at the later philosophy, you really have to read it from, it's a very different way of thinking and it lights up then. I, I think I can perhaps mention her name. Uh, Raven was a student on the Heidegger Deleuze course. She's uh, American as far as I know, and she was quite fond. She's actually signed up for this one too. She was quite fond of the way the course went because of the translations I tried to provide. I tried, I take the German quite literally and try to find ways of translating Heidegger so that a lot less gets lost along the way and a lot more um, perhaps becomes clear about Heidegger what might usually be lost uh, along the way. Again, if you have any questions on the course, the course material, the content, or on Heidegger uh, and death, just let me know if I can answer. I will. Um, and yeah, so so what I'm trying to do is is to read really from the German and then say it in a way that it, it still makes sense in English, but it makes, but it also doesn't because very often these translations of Heidegger are really quite disturbingly um, just meaning some have a completely different meaning. Um, and so just take the word gestell in German. And gestell, which is usually translated as and framing, um, sounds like something comes from outside to and frame the world or to and frame beings. That's not what happens. Gestell is the concentration of all forceful positioning such that everything that is no longer really is, but stands, stands ready as standing reserve or standing resource. Actually, I think standing resource is a much better translation for bestand than standing reserve. It's a standing resource. Everything becomes a standing resource, including the human being as the one who is the functionary of this making available and making controllable and manipulation. Now, in framing sounds again as if something were coming from the outside, but here's the weird thing. The being is in the on, ha, on in the ha, in the as, something as something, hmm? something as something. So beings, gestell, is not from the outside, but it's such that beings are, beings are as gestell. They are positioned in that sense. They are positioned, placed, forced to stand ready for exploitation. And this is what I'm, what others have translated to as positionality. And then it becomes about something else entirely than before. So this is one of the things that this course and also the book uh, does as well is to try and make more sense of what Heidegger is saying in the, in the German 
uh, and so that it still speaks in the English vernacular, but without completely destroying what Heidegger is trying to say, as, as so often happens uh, in translations. As Hölderlin says, language is the most dangerous good given to men by the gods, and we are quite uh, careful in this course not to uh, abuse this gift of the gods language. So um, let me know if there's any questions, anyone who's just perhaps uh, tuned in now, if you have any, let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to answer it if it's something technical on the course or something uh, maybe on the content or so, just you let me know and I'll, I'll be trying my best to uh, respond. Um, perhaps I'll go through the just the, the technicalities again, just briefly, uh, which is if you sign up for the group seminars, they start on the 28th of June, run from 6 to 8 p.m. London times and make sure that you this works for your web, whatever your time zone is. Uh, we meet for about two hours. Um, so, and we'll meet for four weeks in a run, in a, but then we'll have another a fifth meeting after that. And this is a course for anyone who's interested, not just in death. If you're interested in Heidegger, this is an introduction to all of Heidegger's philosophy, to the main four themes of Heidegger's philosophy. That's what will be introduced here. Um, and I'll share my screen again to show you uh, how it works. You could, so this is looking at myself, uh, you click on this link down here in the box and you can see what the course is about. If you want to take part in the content and the seminars, then you enroll here. It's a bit slow because I'm doing this live stream. You add a coupon, you apply the coupon and then it should uh, subtract half, um, which then also gives you access to this, to the forum of the Halkion Guild uh, website, uh, which is lifetime access. It's an online community of learners and uh, it's, it's very new. It's just about now uh, about to grow. Um, yeah, Sepp, that's right. Um, so the um, Sepp just asked whether Every seminar session will be in relation to the lecture videos. Yes. So you will prepare uh, and you will get an email. So a week before, about a week before the seminar, you will get an email with what you have to prepare with study questions. And then we will go through this. So the first seminar is on, um, on being in time. The second seminar is on death as testimony of being, and then on death and Gestell and death as poem of the world. And of course the introduction is the, uh, the setting up of the question. Um, and yeah, so this is what it looks like here on this website when you've actually enrolled. So once you've enrolled, you get to look at the, for example, you click on this, this is Dasein, uh, the first full lecture, uh, which is about an hour. You've got the MP3 here, you've got the uh, document here and you can leave a comment down here if you want, and um, or you can just use also the forum here to leave comments and discuss this. I'll show it again. Heidegger on death. The library is just now being filled uh, with texts and fair use that we will um, use for the, um, yeah, for the, uh, for the course. So first seminar on being in time, second seminar on the event, third seminar on technology, fourth seminar on language and death. And it is an introduction to Heidegger, to all of Heidegger, to the major themes, shall we say, of the thinking path of Heidegger. That's, that's what it's an introduction for, the major themes. Um, it's, uh, if there's any questions, again, let me know. I'll try and uh, answer them. And yeah, 
seeing that a couple of people have signed up, which is nice. Um, so the the coupon um, is, is still valid a couple more days, um, but there's a limited quantity to it. So if you want to sign up, perhaps sign up now. Uh, if you have any questions, just email me. Um, and yeah, you, you'll be, I mean, what really one of the things that I've learned about doing this online is what, what people are doing this for is, of course, you know, it's self-motivated learning. Um, they've, they've got an interest in a philosopher or in a certain topic, but it is, much of it really is about a, what you could call an, an, some sort of a community of learners, um, hence the word guild, where you, you can share your thoughts, you get someone to comment on it. And it is like going to school to a certain degree, because if you spend an intense amount of time with people uh, discussing serious questions, you, you tend to become friends with some of them. Actually, one of the things that came out of <clears throat> the Deleuze course with Justin was that some of these students started a reading group uh, over Zoom, of course, these days. And uh, they are apparently still meeting, at least they were a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and one of, one of actually several of, the, of, the, of those students are, some of them were in the idleness group and some more of them will be in the, the next seminar. So it's, it's almost a bit of a, you meet, uh, you run into um, uh, the people again and again. There will be a couple more courses this year coming from my end. So I will be, the next one will be again, on, probably on Nietzsche. Uh, Hegel is in the making and then something on ancient Greek philosophy too. So that should be coming up in the fall. Um, but yeah, it, it is about the community, these things, and it is about building something um, where as someone, one of the, one of the students said, it's, it's, you, you know, you, you can read so much on your own. Uh, but you, you need to, at some point, be in touch with others. It's the same is true for me. I could just be home and read and write, or I can reach out and um, make a few videos here and now. And I teach privately too, right? This is one of the things I also do, but it's, it's much better in a group, I find. I find it a lot more interesting. By the way, so anyone who's interested is you, you can sign up for the highest tier, which includes five um, hours of private teaching. Um, I've been teaching privately now for about four years in terms of credentials. I've, I also teach at Birkbeck College here in London. Um, I've written a book on Heidegger. I've written my PhD on this subject. So this is the, this course is basically the outcome of seven years of uh, research. Uh, it took, that's how long it, it it's taken now. I wrote the PhD from 2014 to 2018, but I started researching the PhD in 2013 and I finished the book in April or late April 2020. Um, and uh, I'm an autodidact on Heidegger. So I did not have a formal course on Heidegger before I started with um, my PhD actually. So yeah, um, but but then again, you know, it's, it is possible. So this is why if, if people ask whether you can or should enroll uh, without any knowledge, I say yes, just throw yourself in and start reading and start being perplexed by Heidegger. Because as he says on the first page of Being in Time, so here we are, we are still perplexed by the question what it means to be. We still don't know what it is. And that's um, perhaps uh, even the most we can ask for. I'm just thinking whether there is any more, anything more um, uh, technical that you'd like to know about how the course works. If so, then just ask me, or whether there's anything about Helkion, uh, about the, the online academy. Um, let's just say it again, just make it very clear. Anyone who signs up with the seminars gets lifetime access to the forum to be in touch uh, with people then use it as sort of a, a research 
a unit that's very much what I'd like to see. It's a bit of a, a library that it becomes a, a place for sharing uh, your own ideas and your thoughts and but also essays you write and to get some comments on them before you perhaps publish them on a, on your blog or something. This is a time anyways where more of this is happening in, in a serious manner on, on, on the internet. And what I'm trying to do is quite frankly, is to build it up in such a way that I can um, make this my living. And also um, so that I can um, make this my, uh, my living, not just for me, but also my, my family. Uh, and and um, there's um, some, you know, some, uh, I think uh, also some, but just genuine, you could say genuine, unique, this quite unique, maybe we should put it like this, about what's happening <clears throat> in the sense that I, I could not teach, it would take me years perhaps to be able to teach these courses at university. But if I'd like to teach them and I find a few people who, who actually are willing to to put in the work and show interest and show up, uh, then I, I, I can offer this now and it builds up to something. I've, I've had quite wonderful comments from students um, about what it's, how it's helped them. Some of them have become more focused, uh, better in terms of, of course, you, know, you, you, you just gain philosophical knowledge, yes, but I think it's also just good fun in how we meet um, I know everyone's kind of over uh, Zoom meetings at this point, but they are quite helpful for this. And I, I usually, I tend to drink a good glass of wine with it. We don't want to get too uh, stiff here uh, with these things. But yeah, so um, if, if, if there's any uh, more questions, please let me know now. Um, and please... Uh, because I, I'm, I'm happy to answer them now. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm making this video actually because I saw that some people had issues signing up. Um, oh, well, Seb, we'll talk about this. Uh, we'll talk about this in the course, but very briefly, I can say this. And I've said this before in, in another video, why death and, and why, well, I didn't, how did you come to philosophy? No one knows this, but I had ancient Greek at school. I read the pre-Socratics, I read Plato and Aristotle in the original, and that probably never left me. And I then studied PPE, philosophy, politics, and economics in Bolzano in Italy and in, in Seattle for some time. Um, and uh, again, philosophy kept haunting me. The questions kept haunting me. Basically more the question of nihilism and meaninglessness. Those are my early questions. But then when I started reading Heidegger on my own, Again, I was an autodidact on Heidegger. I noticed that there's something in being in time, which I couldn't find anywhere else in the literature, which is the question of what, how, why is it being towards death? Right? Das Sein, das Sein selbst. The being itself is towards death. And then I read in a in an essay he write he wrote and actually it was an essay it was a lecture. He gave his first lecture at Freiburg when he started. In, as a, as a professor, which is what is metaphysics? And in 1949, he add, he added a footnote, which says, in English, death, the mountain range of being. And that was so easy, uncanny, weird, eerie thing, death, the mountain range of being. And I wanted to understand what he means by this. And this is actually what we'll talk about in, in the third and the fourth lecture, why death is the mountain range of being through which mortals strive. Um, so I, I wanted to find an answer to this very strange, very awkward remark by Heidegger. Um, that's why. And then I spent several years reading Heidegger on my own and writing the the PhD, and I read most of the better known texts and some of the texts around um, where death is prominent. And my argument is that 
my claim is that you will find an answer to the question of being insofar as being is the non-accessible and death to us is the non-accessible that we can begin to think the non-accessible oh yeah i mean so i don't know who wg ost wagenburgstraße is it's an interesting name um well there's a this person asks, will there be some space for reflection on using the internet and web technologies on conveying, I guess, philosophy is the question. Yeah, I mean, that this is an ongoing um, self-reflective uh, process. Uh, it's, it's um, funnily enough though, what, what I've seen now with these group seminars is the focus is tremendous. The focus is much higher uh, the focus is much higher in these seminars, it seems, than sometimes in a classroom. That's something that, that, that I've noticed, but there is space for that too. And by the way, this is what the forum also will be for. Uh, so especially when we come to the technology lecture, that would be a, a question that should be raised. Uh, and then some, some of these questions are will necessarily come up and they, can be um, deepened in the um, in the forum, for example. But yeah, so if you have any more questions um, right now, I'll try and answer if I can. As always, the thing with philosophy, it's not talk show radio, there's not an answer to everything. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I guess, uh, just perhaps to sum up a bit, but if you have a question, just to shoot now. Uh, it's, it's, all very, it's all very open, if you like. I mean, to, to speak about, you know, about the internet and, and what this is like, it's, there, there's, there are no credentials. There's nothing you gain. There's no piece of paper. There's no metal. Um, all you gain is perhaps the understanding. Um, no, Adelbert, I will be in touch about the forum next week. Um, so this is for anyone who signs up, you will get access to the forum early on next week. The forum is separate from the Teachable uh, website. So that's something I'll, I'll be in touch about this with an email early on uh, next week, how you can sign up for the Halcyon forum. Uh, it should, it's, it's very straightforward. Uh, and then you'll get access to the forum, which is separate a separate website from the course website. But um, let me uh, maybe just say something again on 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 what, what's the internet, right? The, the internet is the to some degree, maybe not anymore, but basically in its ideal version, it's it's a democratization of everything. Uh, yeah, thanks, Albert. So you you will get access. Anyone who signed up already, you will get full access to the formal explain, explain everything in an email. But the, the, the openness, I think, translates into the kinds of seminars that we have. Um, insofar as um, you're not there to be marked, you're not there to be graded, you're not there to get feedback from some lecturer who, uh, no, you, you're there to learn, to study, to think through and to take the Sache uh, to take the issue seriously for itself. And I will provide guidance. Um, I'm, I'm there to facilitate the, the, the seminars and also to answer questions as and when they arise um, on Heidegger specifically. Um, but I think what, 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 what it does, this kind of a forum, is it takes away, weirdly enough, instrumental rationality which is usually present in the classroom because usually what you want out of a degree is some sort of a career afterwards or st status um, um, what, what there is in a forum like this is mutual recognition and I think a certain people tend to bond in the seminars uh, certainly not everyone will become friends with everybody else but there are people who, who do stay in touch and as I said before some of them have started a reading group and they're still doing it. And uh, that's, that's I think that's good because there's, there's one guy who's really very good. 
and you will see him. I'm not going to say his name. Very good. Some of them are really incredibly good. Uh, you'll see them on the, the public pro seminar of the idleness uh, course, which, which will be out on Sunday. Um, and he, he was always by himself reading and tr in really writing some incredible stuff. And, but it is important to, to, to share that at some point. It is important also to, to get someone who appreciates the work. And the weird thing is if it's outside the halls of academe, you're no longer playing the status hustle games, um, but you're actually entering it uh, you know, from a different perspective and from a different angle. Um, Oh, that's an interesting question. Will we discuss the consciousness of death as a possibility for the self-consciousness of a human being? Heidegger is not about consciousness, but there's reasons for this. Uh, we'll, we can get into this in the in in the lecture on on Dasein. Um, why Heidegger does not want to really get into uh, consciousness and um, and this, but yes. Uh, free death has to do for Heidegger with human freedom. He speaks of a Freiheit zum Tode, a freedom unto death. This is Daniel Beers, Beers uh, asking. Um, it's a good question. I think that um, we will what we will discuss is the question of human freedom and the relation to death. And basically, you know, any any philosophical. Uh, <laughs> Any philosophy seminar is a, is about freedom. F philosophy is a, is a, is the way it is where freedom, human freedom, articulates itself. And for Heidegger, there is freedom unto death. It's such that if when Dasein, the human being, becomes free for its own most possibility for death, and which is its utmost limit, but which is not a limit represented as some outer line, but it's an imminent limit, a limit situation, as uh, Jaspers would say, we become free for what? For our own most, most authentic possibilities into which we press then, as insofar as the other uh, inauthentic possibilities and uh, possibilities that are uh, about, really about uh, uh, fashions and trends and opportunities of the everyday they fall away so for Heidegger the the path to authenticity is through death is through this realization that death is the almost possibility which gives Dasein nothing to actualize but holds Dasein um, as it were up to its up to its possibilities it asks Dasein to be to live up to itself, to live up to what it could be uh, and what it then in, in the best case scenario will be. So it's more about authenticity for Heidegger, but freedom um, as well. And that's the, the first seminar and the first lecture on being and time. And then of course, the question of freedom uh, comes back in the lecture and seminar on technology, which will be the third one. Because Heidegger, Heidegger is very clear, Heidegger does say that technology enslaves us, or there, there is an enslaving quality to, to technology, and that death, weirdly enough, a, a, a contemplation of death, which is then something very different from being in time, but still, a contemplation of death and a meditation on death provides, if not a simple exit, as if in a, some door, some magic door or gate you find, um, no, you, you, you exit through becoming mortal insofar as one realizes that not all can be controlled and manipulated. So the question of freedom and death, I think, sits quite prominently. And also, you will see just the uh, tremendous freedom that a thinker like Heidegger has with his use of, of language, which will then be in the fourth, um, fourth lecture and seminar. Uh, so yes, it seems like there's there's more people or other people than before. Um, so perhaps I'll just do it one more time um, where I'll show you how this 
all work. So I'm sharing my screen. Um, this one. Yeah, so I'm sharing the screen. If you sign up for it, you get access. I will be in touch about this next week. You will get access to the forum. The Halkion Guild Forum is my website. Um, and the Heidegger class of 2020, you can find, for example, you find the library where uh, we share some texts. Um, there's also a good project here right now on Heidegger passages where we share passages from Heidegger. I share, I'm sharing here a, a poem he wrote in honor of, or to Hannah Arendt actually. Um, we're also sharing essays in there. So this is when you sign up for the seminar and content, which you can do here, you enroll here, and then you click on, what is it? Add coupon type in Heidegger 50, and there's a couple more left uh, to apply that. Uh, there's a limited quantity issue, I think there's three or four left of them. Um, so if you sign up now, you can actually get it a bit cheaper. And yeah, so this is the course. Once you're in the course then, once you've enrolled, you've got access to this, to the introduction, to the first lecture, to all the lectures actually. And you click on introduction, for example, what you will see is the text file, the video file, and the audio file. And then you can leave a comment uh, here as well, or you use the forum for this, the Halkion forum. Um, again, the course is based on this book, Heidegger on Death and Being, which should be out in October. So yeah, this is, um, oh, thank you, Daniel. Thank you that it was helpful. I'm glad to hear this. Uh, yeah, if you have any more uh, questions on, on the course, just uh, let me know. Um, and so it's, this is exactly, this, this is actually quite nice because this was a very good question by Daniel. Um, there was a very good question up here by, um, uh, by, by the VG Ostwagenburgstrasse. I love this name. This is Berlin, I guess. Um, I, so these are the kinds of questions that when they, when, as and when they arise in the seminars that we will then touch upon, right? This is exactly what we want to talk through. So this is not a rigid seminar where you have to respond to the questions I give. No, you, you, there will be guiding uh, questions. But if and when these questions arise that you have, then you get, this is what the seminars are for. The, the, the lecture is the groundwork that you listen to during the week and the reading that you do. And then on top of it, you get to discuss your ideas and form an argument, be able to argue for it with someone else as in, you know, in, in the groups and in the, in the breakout rooms. And then of course, in the public pro seminar, that's when you get to present your own, which is an additional seminar in addition to the four seminars. We'll meet, we'll, we'll figure out a date afterwards. That's where you can present a talk and you can do this publicly. That means it will be uploaded on my YouTube channel or you can do it privately. Um, oh yeah, I have, I've got my views on Dreyfus Heidegger. I think it's not Heidegger. I think it's a, a stifled version of Heidegger which is trying to tame Heidegger. So Dreyfus and his acolytes try to tame Heidegger. And then Sprachgitter uh, asks, does one in fact need to go beyond being in time to really see the science frage connection? Yes, I mean, being in time is only the onset of this thinking. Uh, th there is um, without the, the, the question of being, the, Heidegger ignites during his writing of being in time as a thinker. He's not fully there in being in time, as he admits there's a failure of language, as he says in the letter on humanism. Heidegger, the, the tr you know, you, the, for example, the question concerning technology, this famous essay on, on Gestell and te technology, etc., makes almost no sense on its own. You need to have understood the thinking of the event in order to understand what it is that Heidegger is saying here. The trouble with so much Heidegger scholarship is that it completely neglects what Heidegger refers to as the turn, the turning, which has got nothing to do with just some, 
some removal from what he used to think. No, there's something that begins to turn in thinking itself to which he uh, responds. Oh yes, um, <laughs> Seb, you will uh, you will very much uh, re-experience Heidegger. It will be very different from Dreyfus. Actually, there is a lecture on my channel on death, um, a, a very long lecture on death. Maybe I'll share again. Um, maybe I'll share again my screen. Let me try and find this again. Um, forgive me, please. I'm still not very good with these, with these um, technological things. I'm getting used to them as I go. Um, when you click on my YouTube channel, this is now for anyone interested in death in general, uh, also for Sepp perhaps. And here, Heidegger, death is the utmost testimonial of being. This lecture, um, sorry for the um, ads, uh, this lecture actually addresses Dreyfus um, and makes a, shows how perhaps my reading of Heidegger differs. Um, they hear appropriately, there's an empty bottle of wine with a candle in the background. Um, but yes, so this is uh, this is a, a long lecture on my YouTube channel that you can watch, which is not part of the, but which which can be helpful uh, to the lecture. So WG Ostwagenburg Straße. Let me see. Uh, thanks a lot for the answer. Uh, how many people can join? Oh, you're in Weimar. Wonderful, wonderful. So Weimar, perfect. Um, I'm stop. I'm going to stop sharing the screen again. Uh, so this is someone in Weimar, Leonard. Um, it's a, probably cap the seminar. So I, it depends really. Um, I think that there should, there is a maximum. So um, I think it really will, will be kept at, at, at 15. Maybe we had 20 on the Deleuze Heidegger course, which did, which did actually work quite well. Um, I had, there were 12 on the idleness with dignity seminar. And I think there will be, there will be may, maybe in the Sunday seminars for this, anything between 10 to 15 people, maybe a bit more um, than 15, but that's, I think 20 is the absolute maximum for this. And, and um, sorry, how many people can join? Like what will be the max? Okay, I think I answered this in, in, a, in a way at least. So the course, uh, just to be very clear, the course material is recorded. I'll show you again. The course material is recorded. Let me just show you this. Once you enroll in the course, you have access to the course here. So that's all recorded. The introduction is recorded. Um, the, um, and then all the, all the lectures are recorded. So, you've got access to, and this is, you know, as they say, it's lifetime access, which means you can access this anytime. So as, as, once you've enrolled once, there's, you'll always have access to my, my, my face and, and, and the lecture here and, uh, and, and, and the, the MP3. So that, that'll always be there. And so that's all done, but then the seminars are live over Zoom. And yes, we actually, if everyone agrees, then we record the seminars over Zoom, and then I upload them here so you can watch them again uh, for your for your pleasure. If you you know if there's something you want to listen to again, so the course is re recorded. The seminars can be recorded. Everyone agrees, but those won't be public. Um, it will only be public for the the pro seminar, which is at the end. But the course has already been recorded. Everything's up there. It's um, it's five lectures, five texts, five audio files, five uh, video lectures. So yes, um, let me know if you have any more questions. Let me just see if there are any more. Uh, oh yeah, thank you uh, for mentioning that. Uh, th that yeah, I've I've done actually quite quite a few of mm, uh, quite a few um, lectures now on on death and from also from other angles, not just from Heidegger. There's a longer one on Memento Mori. With, which deals with Dostoevsky and again with human freedom, etc. Um, and yeah, and I'll just say it again, if you want to understand the later Heidegger, 
Heidegger on technology, Heidegger on poetry. You must go beyond being in time, as someone says here, right? You have to go beyond being in time, absolutely. If you do not, you, you will not understand what Heidegger says about technology. And I, I would really contend, this is my strong claim, the later Heidegger makes no sense without focusing on death. He says about, you know, the fourfold, which is the, uh, that, that's gefeert, the vier region and the four regions, is what? This is the, the world that's possible even though there is this overarching power of technology, which is mortals, earth, divinities, and sky. And it's mortals. We are mortals. And he says, coming back also to Daniel's question about freedom, he says mortals are those who are open to their death as death, who like their death. It's then that we develop the awareness for what it means to heed the earth and to also to perhaps overcome our human hubris, which seems to be rampant. Um, and then some, some minuscule, small, invisible virus comes along and we're all in shock um, that we don't control everything. And yes, so, so it's four seminars, four full lectures and, and a, a lengthy introduction uh, the, the course is completely recorded with internet language, lifetime access. Um, if once you've enrolled, you can access this again and again for all, uh, not for all eternity, I suppose, but for as long as you please or can. And then there's the seminars, which will be recorded. Everyone agrees. And if you click on it now, there's a, a couple more of these coupons, which I, I can offer almost as a, you could say, as a scholarship. Um, so that um, some more people can afford the course. And I'll say it again, I'm, I'm trying to build my own online academy, which uh, allows me uh, to, to make a living off of this so that I can break free and also provide really good uh, teaching. And the next step, of course, is to get more people in to teach. Um, people who have a bit of a, a profile. Um, I've, taught a course with with Justin Murphy earlier this year I'm talking with Philip a friend of mine um, who's a, a young Hegel scholar we might do a course on Hegel my next course will be on Nietzsche I suppose and then um, I guess I, I'd really like to read more ancient Greek philosophy again and come back to that but for now it's Heidegger coming up and we start in 10 days with the, is it 10 days? Yeah, it's 10 days exactly. So exactly in 10 days from now, this is Thursday, June 18th, we'll start with the Sundays. And actually, if you want to sign up, sign up now because the Saturday seminar is already full. So I'm doing two seminars now. Saturday's full, forget about that, but Sundays are still open. Um, so anyone who's signed up uh, this week is automatically in the Sunday seminars starting on the 20th of June. Then the second seminar is 5th of July, third seminar, 12th of July, fourth seminar, 19th of July, which I think is my father's birthday. Um, so, yeah, and I will be sitting here at 6 to 8 p.m. UK time, and uh, we'll, we'll be drinking a bit of wine together. It's a symposium after all, drinking together. But then, of course, if you only want to sign up for the just the content, that means you're just a self-learner. You don't... You don't you don't need to attend the um, the, the seminars. Uh, I think it's 100, $150 with the coupon. And you can just access that whenever you want and be um, learning at your own pace. Leave a comment and I will respond to questions up there. And yeah, let me know if you have any more questions. Leonard in, in Weimar, perhaps, or Daniel or Seb, anyone or anyone else who hasn't asked anything yet. Um, I'll just maybe say it again. The course is an introduction to all of Heidegger's philosophy. Right? It, it begins with being in time, looks at the question from the angle of transhumanism, then moves on to the question and thinking of the event of the Agnes, and then moves into technology and poetry. 
and I'll say it again, the later Heidegger can only be understood when you have at least a basic grasping. Um, oh yeah, that's a super idea. Uh, Adelbert, I uh, was just uh, recommending that perhaps um, that I will perhaps uh, offer a book on, uh, sorry, a course on the book. So my book will be published by Springer and which will be early October. We're going through the typesetting at the moment. Looks quite good. Um, it's really wonderful working with him. It's a very smooth um, process. Uh, very helpful people in terms of the editors and in terms of the uh, the, the team who are now doing the, the typesetting, which is really uh, quite nice to work with them. Um, good, thank you. Thank you, Leonard. Uh, and yes, I, I might do, I mean, but actually, you know, this, this course is based already on the book, but what we can do, of course, um, is sort of run, run a seminar, I would think, on, on the book. Um, and the best way, yes, exactly, exactly. And so, yeah, it, it's, it's been, it's been really um, quite, quite good to, 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 to publish with them, I find. Um, and um, it's, it's a good publisher. They, yeah, no, it, it's, it's a good process, really. I can, I mean, if you're looking for a publisher or something, it, they're really quite, rec, rec, they come highly recommended, I would say. Uh, and I would also say, uh, this is a good idea and I'll come back to it and maybe we, we can uh, talk about this also because I know Adelbert is, is in the seminars and actually um, we'll get to talk a bit more about this then perhaps uh, what kind of so this is again this is perhaps also something about the question before you know what is it like to teach online uh, it is this kind of a bit of a playful openness right so there is a rich there is a richard course the, the course is the course the content is the content the question is difficult um, the, the stuff is difficult, but uh, it's it, it's then you know, it, it's it's literally uh, this is what I like about being entrepreneurial. It's it's just whatever works. Really, I don't have to wait for someone to um, allow me to teach something. I can just really go on, and it is the best way to write a book and then teach the book. And then realize that you should have written a different book, I guess, because that's also usually what happens when you read it again, especially when you read it with others. Uh, but such is that's such is the is it. But you know, it, it used to be when you think about what 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 lectures were like. It's incredible. Fichte, Fichte's Wissenschaftslehre. This was a lecture course. Incredible now. Or Natorp's philosophical uh, systematicity, philosophic systematic. You read this text. From the early 1920s, or well, Hermann Cohen, another beautiful, beautiful uh, 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 philosophy he's written. Um, Paul Nator, um reading this sometimes brings tears to my eyes, to be honest. Um, it's just so wonderfully written. And there aren't lecture courses like this anymore, but this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to have lecture courses like this, uh, which are no longer, which are now verboten, uh, <laughs> because. God, God forbid anyone begin to think. Um, uh, so um, the, the, these will what my lecture courses are like. But just ask the the guys in the in the in the idleness with dignity seminar. Um, we began with Plato and Aristotle, then moved on to Cicero, then Wilhelm von Humboldt, Nietzsche, Russell, Heidegger, Joseph Pieper, uh, and I didn't have to I didn't have to ask for permission. Um, I teach it and write it the way I, I see fit. And then we discuss it. And I sit here and take notes. I sit here and take notes. This is my, uh, this is what I've used on. So these, these are my notes from the, can you see this? These are my notes from the Scole, uh, from the leisure idleness <laughs> uh, a seminar. So as you can see, I um, try and note down who said what um, and, and, and um, keep track of what it is because what I'm what I'm doing is, is I'm writing a, a book on idleness right so I, I can reference them and I can um, yeah so this it, it's it's the way it, it was done or should be done uh, okay we will get to the ultimate aim it's difficult to answer this is briefly um, someone asked, asking 
what would you say was Heidegger's ultimate aim in conveying his phenomenology of death? Uh, I don't know what, well, I don't know if I have a phenomenology of death myself. Um, what, what, what brings me to this question is that I saw that there is a way of responding to the question of being through death. And I think again with Heidegger, as I said before, death is the ultimate, the utmost non-available, that which never is available. And that is what Heidegger wants to get to, right? The phenomenology of Heidegger is about concealment, the, the non-available, the non-controllable, the non-manageable. And it's almost as if gate is, death is the window unto this way of thinking. Heidegger wants to think being as the self-withdrawing. And that's why death is so prominent in Heidegger. Um, and yeah, so I'm, um, I would be, uh, so I'm available also on, um, on email regarding this course if you have any more questions. If not, feel free to enroll now and make use of the coupon because once mm -hmm. it's gone, it might be difficult. And uh, if there's any more questions, just reach out to me on Twitter or one of these things or email. Um, I'm seeing that more, more, more people are actually now tuning in. Um, maybe I'll just say it again, for anyone who's new, this is about the course on Heidegger on death and being. If you click on the link below, you can enroll now. There's a coupon, which is Heidegger 50. You get 50% off, it's a limited uh, quantity offer. Anyone who enrolls gets uh, access, lifetime access to, to this here. I'm sharing my screen. You get lifetime access to um, to the entire course material, which is already recorded. Anyone who signs up for the seminars will get access to the seminars as well, to the audio lectures and everything else, but also the group seminars, which start in 10 days from now. And anyone who signs up for this will also get access to the forum that I've built, my Halkion Guild, uh, which has a couple of interesting members. So you can see who's a part of it. Um, is people like, is it working? It's a bit slow. Um, is me, Max Gottfried, who's a Hegel scholar, Dawood, my sister is a philosopher, Andrew Taggart is a very good practical philosopher, Leszek is a writer, Justin Murphy, There's a couple more people down here, Sean Burke, uh, is an artist and a painter and he actually has published a book with Halkion, Winter and Summer. Chris does the Classical Philosophy podcast with me. The next one will be on uh, Plato's Republic. This is me making music as a, my alter ego. And Adam is a good friend of mine here. He's a um, photographer and he makes some of the videos I put up. And of course, Guy Sengstock, some of you may know him and Ellie. And yeah, so you get access to the forum. Uh, it might just be, by the way, that Guy Sengstock uh, turn, turns in on some of the seminars if he finds the time. So uh, you, you might get a chance and talk with him if you please. But you will have access to this uh, forum where you can, we've got the library here with a couple of texts uh, in fair use. And we've got some people sharing stuff on Heidegger and you can stay in touch. I mean, ultimately this is about building a, a community of learners, a guilt in that sense of scholari, of scholars, of students. And that's what I'm trying to do. So if you sign up lifetime access to this, lifetime access to the course. Uh, and yeah, that is perhaps good. Mm. Which, yeah, um, so I'm hoping that this has answered um, questions to those who uh, didn't know perhaps how to enroll or sign up or something, but I will be, um, I will be available on email regarding this or on Twitter or any of these things. Um, if you have any more questions, if not, feel free to sign up now to make good use of this coupon. And yeah, I would just like to thank you all very much for your time. If you have 
any more concrete question, maybe just on the course, let me know now and I'll, I can answer it now. If not, then uh, Finitude is calling me. It's uh, 20 minutes past nine here in the UK. So I might be, um, I might actually be um, um, retiring soon. I shall retire as they say. So if you have no more questions, then um, at least not seeing any, at the moment, um, just gonna wait a bit more because I think there's a bit of a delay between the live stream and everything and what's being shown. And then we can perhaps move on and then perhaps I'll I'll be going to, I'm, I'll, I'll be ending this uh, soon then. But it's weird, I mean, there's always, there's always people dropping in and out of this. Um, so I feel like I've got to maybe say a few words, uh, even just now again. Um, so if, if you sign up now, uh, Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Seb. So Seb says, thanks, Johannes. I don't think I've ever come across a course of this nature. So what you're doing is unique and not to be missed from my perspective. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Thank you, Adelbert, too, um, for, for, for signing up also. And and um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you. Uh, I might do another live stream. I don't know. Um, maybe just in something else. But the next big video that will be out should be on Sunday, the pro seminar on the idleness with dignity. Uh, group so you will see what this is like what people are like uh, and what the whole um, process is like um, and what the talks are like I think it'll, many of them will be really quite magnificent and yeah so I'm um, looking forward to, to seeing some of you at the seminar uh, in 10 days and till then keep well all the best as always and uh, see you very very soon <laughs>